Hey, it's T here with another Minecraft Monster Girl speed paint. Today we have the little Minecraft bat, but I'm taking the color palettes uh, mostly associated with the redesign, <laughs> using it in this character challenge because I think purples go really good together and I think with a lot of browns, I probably could do something with a lot of brown hues, but just the purple, I like the purple. Yeah, my color choices were very much inspired by the two bats. I think I had them in my Photoshop file at one point. Also colorations from the bat guy from Arcane. It's been a while, but I liked that design and I think I stole the nose and the ears and the earrings, but they're really, really teeny tiny, so you can't really see them. The sketch for this was quite easy to do. She's in like a chill little relaxed pose, uh, arms out with a little uh, bat cape of sorts, so it looks like wings, but I don't have to commit to drawing wings, uh, which I always like. I started this in February, uh, so it's been a while, right? A little like slowly chipping away at it. Um, and I like started the recording and I was doing the sketch. And then um, as I was putting all the files together, uh, I couldn't find the sketch video, which uh, it was horrific. I'm like, oh dear, like I really like the sketch. I want it to be included, like all blah, 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 blah. Um, Turns out I just started recording immediately when I entered Photoshop. Uh, so <laughs> the um, recording name was called Untitled because uh, I had not saved the Photoshop file, which is first time I've actually made an error like that. But hey, it was found. It's fine. Now you're, you, you have seen it at this point. For me, the idea of um, the bat was like a little, a, a very cute little character, I think, with the whole um, aesthetics of the outfit. I didn't want it to be too much. Like I didn't want to go full Dracula, like Transylvania. Uh, I've been seeing uh, quite often and re like in recent days, quite um, frequently this like combo of like cute vests and um, button ups. I'm not sure what it is. It's just, a, I thought it, I think it's just a lovely combo. So she's in that. <laughs> it's, it's vampiric in a sense uh, through association, I think. It's not necessarily based on any vampire kind of elements, but I think it's got it's got bits and pieces. With the arm braces, they are very much D&D inspired. I think it's been vampires in D&D. Her hair's just so fluffy. I love it. I think it, this was one of those ones where I was just drawing and I'm like, oh, this, it just felt like it makes sense. Um, I'm not sure what those two kind of like long um, sections in the front are, but um, I think they work quite well. I'm not sure what they're called, but I like the kind of length they gave. Like, it's not too alternative, um, but it has that little, like, it's got a little bit of that vibe, which I, I love. The blush, I started out with um, very orangey red hues, which you'll see me change later on. Because usually if I were to draw a darker skin tone, I'd use um, for blush more reds and more like um, oranges and stuff like that. Yeah, I like the um, design of like the big ears and the soft kind of face and the big nose and the kind of like um, the key elements that made her very bat-like. I think with previous de um, designs like the spider, uh, there were elements where like um, I was going to do it and then just didn't end up doing it. So I think it was good to have very key um, bat-like features. Um, yeah, I think she's neat. I think she's a neat, neat little girl. I like, I like her. I think she's cute. Um, so yeah, that was the Minecraft bat. Um, let me know if you like the design and in the comments below, let me know what else I should do. Um, let me know who I should turn into a monster girl next. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.